Jeff Sudo has already won $16,000. He is back to try to make it again to the bonus sprint today on Scrabble. An eight-letter word. The clue is he's easy to see through. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Watery. All right. Thank you, Charlie Tuna. I, I want to welcome uh, Henry Clay Junior High School and Assumption School here. All my friends are up in the audience, and we're having a good time having them here on Trick or Treat Week. Today, the jackpot in our bonus sprint stands at $5,000. Winner's going to get a chance to that later on in the show. Now, you probably already noticed that it's trick-or-treat here. Maybe you didn't, but if you did, then you'll know that it's also trick-or-treat on all the rest of the NBC shows. So stay tuned because we have a few surprises in store for you for this show. And Charlie has our first two players, and here they are. She likes to clown around. He's got a splitting headache. Originally from Talaboon, Philippines, Sonny Arano. And from Hacienda Heights, California, Jeff Sudo. All right, nice to have you both here. You know, the thing that's, the thing that's crossed my mind all week, Sonny, or so, is it Sony or Sonny? Sony. Sony, is that, uh, you know, you guys have these things on, nobody at home is going to recognize you. So when you feel comfortable and you want to take that off, please do, if you want to. If you don't have to. Oh, okay. All right, tell me about yourself. Okay, I'm currently a student at Cal State Long Beach, uh -huh. studying to be an elementary teacher, and my goal is to have 11 children, just like my grandmother. Oh, great. That's your grandmother had 11 children? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Now, Sony, I would suggest that you probably take that thing off your nose because you're starting to sound like this, and it will be very difficult to understand you, don't you know, okay? Thank you. All right, how you doing, Jeff? Real well now, yeah. Chuck. Mm -hmm. That's good. Tell me about yourself. Well, uh, like I said last show, I'm going to be starting work a few weeks in Palo Alto uh -huh. for a firm up there doing some venture capital work, hopefully. And with my winnings, I hope to take a vacation as soon as they give me some time off. Yeah, the winnings are $16,000 plus a VCR. He's done real well in one day, I might add. Now, Sony, you're the challenger. You're going to go first. We're going to play Scrabble until somebody gets three words right. That player goes on to the Scrabble sprint. Today, they got a chance of $5,000. Take a look at the board as we set up for our first game, building on the letter A. Eight letters in the word, and the clue is many people take a stand on opposite sides of it. Now, when you think you know the word, hit your buzzer. Don't forget the pink and blue bonus squares, because they're worth money. Many people take a stand on opposite sides of it. Okay, I'll take the tile 10 and the tile 9. A or an M? Okay, I'll take the M. Nope, stop her over to you, Jeff. Take tile 3. A, a or C, a C. $500. Many people take a stand on opposite sides of it. Can't see it. I'll take the A. First position and last position and the middle. I uh, still don't see it. I'll take the 5 and over here to the 8. The N. Many people take a stand on opposite sides of it. And the I. Uh, I don't think there's any more money out there, so Atlantic? That's right, it's Atlantic Ocean. <clears throat> he doesn't give them up too quickly, Sony. Okay. Building on the letter N in Atlantic, seven letters in the word. The clue is they need a morning pick-me-up. Okay. Morning pick-me-up. I'll mm -hmm. take a tile five and seven. Okay, I'll take the I. They need a morning pick-me-up for $500. I don't know it. Mm -hmm. Place the T. I still don't know it. Place the 4 and the 3. S or an A? I'll take the A. They need a morning pick-me-up. And I'll take the S. $500 again. They need a morning pick-me-up. I don't know it yet. Mm. I'll take the two and the six. F for an L. I'll place that F for some moolah. And the word is infant. That's right, $500 is infant. Good for you. One, two, three, four, five hundred. There you go. All right, Jeff. Building on the letter S in infants, eight letters in the word, and the clue is, he's near rock bottom. He's near rock bottom. $500, if you know what it is. No, I don't. I'll take the two 
And the 10. L and D. The L. And the D. He's near rock bottom. Ooh, don't see it. Four. And the seven. F and a P. The P. Sonny, he's near rock bottom. Okay, I'll take the eight. F and an I. Okay, I'll take the I. Still don't know, I'll take place the F. He's near rock bottom for $500. I know it. Goldfish! That's right. Out of time, going to play the rest in speed word. Uh, hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give you the last one. That's up to you. Okay, Sony's going for the game. Jeff's trying to tie it up. We're building on the letter D in goldfish. Six letters in the word. And the clue is some guys do it in the back of a canoe. Go. Jeff. Cattle. That's exactly right. Yes. Anybody's game. Did he get money? No. Building on the letter E and paddle. Seven letters in the word. The clue is... They're always looking to make a mark. Ready? Go. Jeff. Pencils? Oh. No, boy, that's a chance you got to take now. You're out of speed word, and Sony, it's all yours. You can wait for the money to pop up if you want. Okay. They're always looking to make a mark. Ready? Go. Always looking to make a mark. German. Yes, too bad you couldn't get it with the M. Oh. Well, Jeff, big winner, Jeff. Big winner. $16,000. You did it all in one day. Plus your VCR. We're happy to give you that. And thanks for coming on the show. We Thank enjoyed you. having you. Well, Jeff got a VCR, Sony. Let's see what you can win. You want to try something here? Pink or blue? Um, blue. Blue. Well, blue was the lucky one yesterday. Maybe it'll be lucky today. We'll see. Okay. It's a trick or a treat. And hopefully this will be a treat. Let's see what it is. You can go around the world with your brand new yo-yo. Uh, it's not a nice thing. You know, the wild, I mean, they make me do this. It's like, I have nothing. I didn't set this up. I didn't do it. I just have to do it. You know what around the world the yo-yo is? Yeah, the one where you go like yeah. this. Well, it's a pretty good, let me see the yo-yo. Is this one of those yo-yos that at least light up? Oh, oh okay. well, that's a good yo-yo. Okay, do that in the dark and take a few of your friends out at the same time. Okay, we're going to come back in just a minute. Stay with us. Burn again? Yeah. Take some Ryapan Plus 2. It's double strength. I hope it works fast. In lab tests, Ryapan Plus 2 starts neutralizing acid in 10 seconds. You look better. You want to go after a banana split? Ryapan Plus 2 works fast. <laughs> Yesterday's cold was a bother, but nothing like fighting today's cold, which is complicated by stress, <laughs> exhaustion, and pollutants. Today's medicine for today's cold is new Benadryl Plus. With the strength of Benadryl for sneezing, plus a maximum strength decongestant to help you breathe easier, plus a maximum strength pain reliever. Today's cold. Thanks. Demand new Benadryl Plus. Today's medicine for today's cold. Think of all the things you could be doing. If only you had more energy. This kind of energy comes from food by eating a well-balanced diet with vitamin B complex and biotin, the energy releasers. To be sure you're getting enough energy releasers, take Theragrand M High Potency Multivitamins with Minerals, rich in B-complex and biotin. They're essential for converting food into the energy you need. So eat right and take Theragrand M from Squibb with energy releasers. Unleash your energy. Ritz Bits crackers. <laughs> Mini Ritzes, unbelievable. Three sizes. They're very, very tiny. Buttery. Ritz Bits, every bit as good as a Ritz. And now, back to Scramble and Chuck Woolery. 
Sonny Arano has $1,500, and all she wanted to make was $500, so you did pretty well. You're yeah, three times what you Yeah, I was really surprised. Well, you're going to establish a time now, and the winner of the next crossword is going to come up here and try to beat that time. So you're way ahead. You can just have fun and relax and good. Clown around. <laughs> Clown around, stuff <laughs> like that. Good luck. First word, five letters. She had foster parents. She had foster parents. Ready? Ready? Yes. I need that indication. Okay. Go. Jody. That's right. Second word, six letters. They hardly ever leave home. They hardly ever leave home. Ready? Okay, ready. Go. A. F. They hardly ever leave home. N. I. They hardly ever leave home. Snap. Snail. Yes. The third word has seven letters. He runs a body shop. He runs a body shop. Ready? Ready. Go. L. Lorraine. Very good. <laughs> Last word has nine letters. Nine letters. Nine a letters. period of great inflation. A period of great inflation. Inflation. Ready? Go. T. R. N. Period of great inflation. B. A. No. Keep going. E. Y. Period of great inflation. Pregnancy. Twenty-four point seven. That was a pretty good time. Pregnancy kind of held you up, but that was it. <laughs> so good. All right. Twenty-four point seven. We'll see if that's good enough. We're right after this. Here it is. <laughs> If you took an Actifed tablet for your cold, there's something you should know. Yes, sir. Contact 12-hour caplets work twice as long. Isn't I? Until there's a cure, there's contact. Once a woman's day starts, it never stops. Which may be one reason women suffer from constipation. In fact, they're constipated three times more often than men. Fortunately, there's today's Correctol. Its special formula combines a mild laxative with a softening agent to work gently, work effectively overnight to help you feel like yourself again. Today's Correctol works gently, works effectively. Welcome to a room unlike any you've ever seen. A room where the light comes on automatically when you enter, then goes off when you leave where you never have to flip a switch, pull a screen, or wish you had an extra hand. Every room could be this convenient if you add a first alert sensor switch. It automatically turns the lights in any room on and off. Sensor switch from first alert. Isn't there room for one in your home? Look for the complete sensor switch line. Baby, you never look better. Can I take your picture today? Don't know when I've seen such a smile. Don't you love all we do to get the best out of you? Through Saturday only at Sears, get two 8x10s, two 5x7s, and ten wallet-sized portraits for just $14.95. A face like yours deserves it. They're the best, and I gotta tell you, baby, <laughs> you never look better. Sears, your money's worth and a whole lot more. If he says his mother's coming, it's okay. Even if the kids leave a mess, it's okay. Summer's Eve. More than a little fresher, more than a little cleaner, more like yourself. Now, if he tells me there's another woman, that's not okay. Summer's Eve, more like yourself. All right, Sonny Arano is our champion, and we are going to be two new players right now. Sally? She eats like a bird. He's a prince of a guy. From Seattle, Washington, Kathy Arnold. And originally from Buffalo, New York, Mike Hume. Hi, right, Kathy, how are you? I'm terrific, Jeff, thanks. Everybody's remarked about your mask and what a wonderful mask that is. That is kind of complicated with all those feathers and things. Yeah, too. thank you. My yeah. friend Claude, who let me stay with her while I'm down here, you know, let me borrow this as well. Oh, so I nice. want to thank her for that. Good. Tell us about yourself. Well, I've been happily married for the last 13 years to mm -hmm. Bill. We have an 11-year-old daughter, Janie. I just bought a Peruvian show horse, which I'm really excited about. You're kidding. You can only show that in Peru, though, you know. No. <laughs> no. 
I'm afraid not. <laughs> and I'm a writer who's been working on uh, the same novel for the last 10 years. Well, good luck. I hope you get through it. Thanks. Nice I hope so, too. <laughs> good luck to you. Thank you. Hi, Mike. Hi, Chuck. You should have a buffalo on instead of a yeah, king's hat. That's I know. What the heck? Got to be regal. Tell me about yourself. Well, uh, from Buffalo, New York, I moved out here to California. To First accident I ever had in my life was in Buffalo, New York. <laughs> snow? In the snow? No, it was in the summer, I'm sorry to oh, say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'm pursuing an art career out mm -hmm. here. A lot of opportunities in California, and glad to be on the show. That's great. First time I ever saw TV, guess where it was? Buffalo, New York. Exactly. I, uh, <laughs> It's true. I really was. First time I ever saw a television. Who won the toss? I did. Let's go to the board. <laughs> Building on the letter E, nine letters in the word. And the clue is men sometimes put them up on pedestals. Okay, I'll take the three and the nine. N or a P? Uh, the N, please. <laughs> no, Kathy? Okay, I'll take the 11. Give B me that B, P? please. Men sometimes put them up on pedestals. And the P. Okay, I'm going to take the 10 and the 5. Oh, give me a T, please. You got it. And it's the first position in the word worth 500. Men sometimes put them up on pedestals. I can't get it. Give me the other T, please. Nope, I'm not seeing it. I'm going to take the eight. Whoops. And the four. L or an S? Give me the L. Men sometimes put them up on pedestals. Give me that S, please. It's worth $500. For $500? Tabletop. That's right. Ah! First time I ever saw a girl in a bikini, guess where it was? <laughs> Buffalo. <laughs> no, it was in south of France. I haven't seen Buffalo. One, two, three, four, five hundred. Ah, thank you. I had somebody write in here the other day and accuse me of being a Yankee. First time in my career. I could believe this. said, you Yankee talking about Southerners the way you did. I am from Kentucky, born, raised, bred, and went to school there. Okay, here we go, Mike. Building on the letter E in tabletop, six letters in the word. The clue is many of them have been held at knife point. Okay, I don't know it, so I'll take the two and the five. L and an R. I'll place the L, please. Many of them have been held at knife point. I'll place the R. No, nope. <laughs> Kathy? Okay, I'll take the eight and the four. Enter an M. Place the M, please. Many of them have been held at knife point. And the N. Oh, okay, so I'll take the seven. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and the six. O and a W. Give me the O, please. Many of them have been held at knife point. That W's a stopper, I'm gonna guess it. Melons? Melons, yes. <laughs> that borders. Mike, building on the letter S in melons, eight letters in the word. The clue is some people just won't go for it. Give you $500 if you can tell me what it is right now. Some people... I, I don't know it, so I'll have to pick the two and the five. C or an I. Place the C, please. Some people just won't go for it. Place the eye. Still don't know it. Gonna have to go for the four and the eight. H or a P. Uh, how about the H? How about the P? Some people just won't go for it. Well, uh... There's still three stoppers out, so I think I'm going to guess. Yeah, you're way behind, too. Physical. Yeah, that's right. It's two to one. Bell means we're out of time. Going to play the rest of this game in speed word. Hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give you the last letter. Mike trying to tie it up. Kathy's going for the game. Building on the letter L in physical. Six letters in the word. The clue is some guys like the seamy type. Some guys like the seamy type. Ready? 
go. Some guys like the seamy type. Mike, nylon. That's correct, it's nylon. It's all tied up in anybody's game. Building on the letter S in nylon, seven letters in the word, and the clue is, it's a sorry state. Or if you're from Canada, it's a sorry state. It's a sorry state. Ready? Go. It's a sorry state. Sorry. Mike? Remorse. Remorse is exactly right. You got it, Kathy. Now, how about that? Whoops. Well, Kathy, I'm going to say goodbye to you with $500. Thank and, you. Uh, you know, thanks for playing the game. We thanks. enjoyed having you. I had a great time, well, and your staff was here. wonderful. We really did. And, Mike, here's the trick-or-treat bags to see if I can give away something good this time, pink or blue, and take your choice. Well, how about the uh, pink, please? How about the pink? Going for the pink. We alternated. Let's see if it worked. I hope it did. Oh, boy. Come on, Mike. Come on, Chuck. This is tough to give away. It's been, how many times? Three or three times, and I've given away one thing. All right. Four days, three nights, Las Vegas, including round-trip airfare for two, hotel accommodation. Oh, accommodations. And I'm sorry, Mike. Meals and a spectacular show. It's all good. It's right to you. Thanks, Thank Mike. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm glad you got it. $500, finally gave two for two. We're 50%. We'll be back. Stay with us. Don't throw away your favorite clothes because they look worn. Wait. Save them with the Remington Fuzz Away Shaver. It safely removes pills, fuzz from garments, upholstery, and drapes. Available in regular and professional size for large jobs. The Remington Fuzz Away. It don't taste the same with nothing in the middle. Nothing in the middle. Nothing in the middle. So why eat a cereal with nothing in the middle? When there's oh, 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 so much in the middle of O's. Mm. Honey, Graham, and lots of good things baked inside those crunchy rings. So why eat a cereal with nothing in the middle? When there's oh, 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 so much in the middle of O's. Quaker O's. Oh, you're looking at a broken peanut. All I ever wanted was to get into a Fifth Avenue candy bar so I can be irresistible. But they don't want peanuts. They want peanut butter. Crunchy layer after layer of peanut butter smothered in Hershey's pure milk chocolate. Oh, it'll be a grind, but I'm going to do it. After all, it's Hershey. It's Fifth Avenue. It's everything it's cracked up to be. If they won't have me, I'm going to throw myself to the elephants. At play school, we know at home or away, babies like having their favorite toys with them. I've been here before. So we make the play school fold and go quilt. My own mirror. With ten busy activities to keep your baby happy. I'm so happy. Friday, an insane killer stalks a helpless child. I got one dead body and one terrified little girl. Can Jack and Tara save her? Help me! Something is out there. Some of today's participants will receive Jason's new Permafocus 2000 binoculars. Never need focusing. So sophisticated, they make focusing obsolete. Look through Permafocus 2000 and never focus again. Furnished by Jason. And now, back to Scrabble. And Chuck Willery. 1,524.7 is the time to beat. Mike Hume's going to try to beat that time with his 500 and try to make 1,000. And Mike going to play the same four words. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock and nothing else counts. Okay. Good luck. All the letters are good. First word, five letters. She had foster parents. She had foster parents. Ready? Ready. Go. J. O. I. She had foster parents. D. Jody. Yes. The second word has six letters. They hardly ever leave home. They hardly ever leave home. Ready? Ready. Go. S. L. A. They hardly ever leave S. home. N. Snails. Yes. <laughs> the third word has seven letters. He runs a body shop. He runs a body shop. Ready? Ready. Go. N. A. N. He runs a body shop. L. A. Well, you had another one to go. Congratulations, Tony. Very nicely done. Mike 
Hume leaves us with 500. Sony returns trying for 5,000 with her 2,500. We'll be back. Oh, you're looking at a broken peanut. All I ever wanted was to get into a Fifth Avenue candy bar so I can be irresistible. But they don't want peanuts. They want peanut butter. Crunchy layer after layer of peanut butter smothered in Hershey's pure milk chocolate. Oh, it'll be a grind, but I'm gonna do it. After all, it's Hershey, it's Fifth Avenue, it's everything it's cracked up to be. And if they won't have me, I'm gonna throw myself to the elephants. This is a Tyson chicken. Generations of fine breeding have made this chicken one of the most succulent available. Putting it into a sandwich in this form, however, leaves room for very little else. These are Tyson breast patties. They are made with the tender breast meat of the same delicious Tyson chicken. To choose between Tyson chicken and Tyson breast patties depends simply on how much extra room you'll be needing in your sandwich. Tyson breast patties. It's Tyson chicken, only smaller. And now, back to Chuck Woolery and today's winner. How do you feel? How do you feel? <laughs> Why? I mean, you're doing so well. What, you, you came for 500 Yeah, I didn't you're, expect you're that. You're up to your $2,000 over budget. <sighs> I you're know. doing good, huh? Well, let's see if you can win this. I hope you can. I this hope. would be fun. It's all icing on the cake. Just, you got to get them pretty quick, though. Okay. Two words under 10 seconds, okay? You ought to be able to get this one. First word. A birthday bash. Now, watch me. A birthday bash. A birthday bash. bash. Ready? Go. A. I. No. Pinata. You're right. That's got it. Very good. 6.9, so you're ahead of the clock. Okay. You're ahead of the clock, and if you do it right, maybe you can get this one. I can't believe it. Well, you know, just enjoy yourself. 6.9 okay. seconds. You can figure out how many letters you can put up. Seven letters. They're hardcore. They're hardcore. They're hard core. Ready? <laughs> They're hard core. We have to do it. Okay. Go. H. A. They're hardcore. P. They're hardcore. E. Oh, no. Well, it was peaches anyway, so you got peanuts out. Too bad. I thought you'd put those up just a little bit quicker. You could have done it. I believe you would have had it. Well, the 5,000 goes up to six. You're still way ahead, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. Scrabble, starring Chuck Woolery, is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword game. This is Charlie Tuna speaking. Scrabble is a Reds Granny production.